Ladies and gentlemen, we are now 10 seasons into learning business from Shark Tank. And this episode may be our greatest one yet. Tonight, co-founder of RSE Ventures and vice chairman of the Miami Dolphins, Matt Higgins, joins... Damn, dude. Really? How down bad are they for guests? That we got Matt Higgins of the Dolphins? <laughs> we went from Richard Branson, the rebel billionaire jumping out of planes, to Matt Higgins? Who? Next up is a simpler way to invest in the hottest new craze. Hi, Sharks. My name is Dimitri craze. Love, yeah. and I'm from My Dallas. company is Bundle. I'm seeking $100,000 for 10% equity in my company. When it comes to investing, nothing's hotter right now than cryptocurrency. <laughs> now, cryptocurrency is a digital currency, so investing in it is a little different. Or you could just use Bundle, the most convenient way to invest in cryptocurrency. Oh, shoot. Um, <laughs> users to automatically invest their spare change every day into... Um, cryptocurrency. <laughs> All right, look, cosmically, I don't know how this goes, but if this guy is somebody who's deeply into crypto in 2018 and doesn't make money, you have to fumble the bag so hard. You're doing great. You're good, Dimitri. You're doing great. Cool, cool. You're good, Dimitri. You, you look great. Thank, Thank you. Thank Dimitri, you. this is the biggest moment in your life. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> Is a How does that help him? That allows you to <laughs> invest your spare change from everyday purchases directly into crypto. Okay. Um, just keep doing what you're doing, leave the complicated math and algorithms behind, and Bundle will take care of the rest and make bundles of cash. <laughs> Way to figure right. it out. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, uh, <laughs> Stuck the land in. Do you think anyone that's trying to invest in cryptocurrency has to go through all these steps? 2018 was the first big, it was like around the Thanksgiving crash, right? Then it spiked and then fucking massive dipped. What I'm saying is if this guy had taken all the money he spent on this fucking project and just bought Ethereum in 2018 and then obviously had the foresight to sell in 2021, <laughs> that would have been incredibly more profitable than trying to make this fucking company. Um, to try and How are you going to get customers? Um, so we can actually advertise on Facebook. That is uh, <laughs> one big thing. That's a very... <laughs> Bro, this is just a fucking idea you had. There's no business here at all. Your big plan is we could advertise on Facebook. That's a big thing. So our customer acquisition costs are actually only $2.77. How do right you know that? How do you know that? We have about 360 users and we put $1,000 <laughs> into marketing. <laughs> Bro, you cannot determine your customer acquisition cost on your first 300 fucking friends and family that's insane. Yeah. Um, for me, I'm not so sure, so I'm out. Okay. Lord. Challenge here is I'm a, an investor in a company called ChangeEd. For those reasons, I'm out. Okay. I think the the digital currency space is here to stay, but it's still just the wild, wild west. So I think it's a little too early for me. I'm out. Okay. Thank you. Here's Great. my offer. I'll give you $100,000. I want to be a 50% partner. Wow. I'll tell you why. You are going to be stunned at how expensive it is to acquire customers. Take, Take it and run, dude. I pour gasoline. Hey. What, millions of dollars. Fucking rug pull his ass. Holy shit. Hit him with a classic crypto rug pull. Take that 100K, give him fucking 90%, and then just dip. That's that. You finally make some money off of that shit. Sir, Zip it, Higgins. It's too early. Um, it's Let not him take Kevin's in my money. Opinion. And for that reason, I'm out. It's your decision. Your business makes no sense. Take it. Dimitri. Kevin, I'll accept your offer. Yes, yeah, uh, right. Dimitri. Yeah. You made the right decision, my friend. Yeah. Made the right decision. <laughs> Kevin just paid $277 per user. <laughs> <laughs> fucking 360 users, head ass, no profit, stupid fucking company. There's no evidence this deal with Kevin even went through or closed, unfortunately. And uh, this company, while maybe still in business, has no reviews. They're looking at, even with the Kevin marketing machine, they're looking at 437 followers on Twitter. <laughs> Ethereum versus Solana, which one are you choosing? And there's four votes. <laughs> For a $1,000 Bitcoin giveaway, they got two votes. Yes and no, I don't want $1,000. <laughs> Hello, Sharks. My name is Guy Vaknin, and I'm the chef and owner of Beyond Sushi. I'm seeking a $1.5 million investment in exchange for 25% of 
of our planned venture on the West Coast. Wait, excuse and me? And 5% of our current operation excuse on the East Coast. Excuse me? Uh, we have the Mighty Mushroom, which has uh, four grain rice, uh, baked tofu inside shiitake, inoki, uh, and it will cost you seven fifty. It cost me about a buck fifty to make it. I love it. The whole idea of this, it's a commissary-based business. So we have one big kitchen that supplies everything. I, and the oh, restaurants can be Oh, wait, I really like service. that. When he's got one big kitchen in all of Manhattan pumping out these vegan rolls, he can ship them to all the different locations. They don't need to have on-site chefs. I mean, that's in the right market. That's a pretty good model. Chef, I understand the space really yes. well. Stay with me on the yes. unit economics, no right? Problem. So you know an ideal QSR <laughs> yeah. or you know fast casual restaurant should be doing 20% profit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm actually learning a little bit from Higgins here. He clearly knows more about the restaurant business than me, and I'm actually watching. And every other shark's like, fucking shut up, nerd. <laughs> and Damon just wants to say that he's out and talk about the guy's fucking appearance. Like, yes. Matt asked you, what, what did you ask him? What is his PR, QR, service restaurant? I had no idea what any of that was, and for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Thank I think are insane. The valuation is insane. I'm out. And, you know, I didn't see a clone anywhere coming up in the pitch. So my gut's telling me, no, I'm out. Come. And then I'm paying $1.5 yeah. for what may or may not work. We all intuitively yeah, feel like yeah, you're going to yeah, do great yeah, out yeah, here, yeah, right? But yeah, I don't yeah. know. And I yeah, that's the weird part is like, you know, the business is doing well in New York. And you'd want a bigger piece of that if you're going to invest. You get 5% of that and then 20% of what might happen when he launches on the West Coast. Yeah. And uh, Lori and I are going to come into this deal together. We're going to yeah. work together to change your life. The offer on the table is 30% in LA, 15% New York, and you have a deal. Plus, you get the entire He's network, sharking. but I need to be incentivized. Hey, the nerd is sharking. Let's do it. Oh, wait a minute. I feel like I witnessed a real bit of sharking there. Okay. Beyond Sushi seems to be doing quite well for itself following his appearance on Shark Tank. They opened six more locations in Manhattan. It seems like a pretty good overall, pretty good deal. Pretty good investment. He denied the deal in post. Oh, interesting. Let's see. Oh, the deal with Matt and Lori never closed. So he basically did it as an ad. <laughs> Goat. <laughs> Out sharked, my friend. Hi, my name is Sarah Pullen, and I am the CEO and co-founder of Supergirl. Sarah's mom, CAO, Chief Anxiety Officer. Ha. We're here ha. from Washington, D.C., and we're asking for $500,000. Kevin. Kevin can't even give a pity smile. Kevin wrote a note in his book. Bad humor. For 10% of our company. Oh. Wow. Shucks. Wow, big valuation. And most of you know, most commercially available soup is not as healthy as you might think. The, the curry peach is fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> What's your background? Back in 2008, I was a former stand-up comic looking for a good <laughs> bowl of soup. <laughs> when she was a stand-up comic. Kevin's note makes sense now. Ooh. Give me the sales. Well, let's talk about 2016. 1.4 million. Whoa. Sales in 2017, 2.4 million. Okay. We're on track to do 3.4. Exploding. What did you make and last year on that 2.4? How much did oh, you make? About 5%. Ouch. I think he's just trying to like intimidate her or something because if they're in their first years of growth, of course they're going to have lower margins. They reinvest in everything to grow. He's basically saying that they don't have a huge amount of margin. They're not printing a lot of cash, but that's more with when they get much bigger. Meet the Super Meals program. Okay. Oh, interesting. What we do uh, is we deliver, and the five day oh. has twenty suits. Recurring so revenue day, subscription in 2018. Well, or Sarah, that's a forty-one multiple on a soup business. No soup for you. <laughs> she was the saving that when things got dark. So there's two reasons why we don't want to use a co-packer. Number one, we're certified kosher, and there you will are not kosher, find co there are kosher co-packers. Not that can do this quality. Trust me, we've talked yeah. to them. So Sarah, As they put in those giant colanders. But they're doing it wrong. <laughs> Nobody does this. I kind of admire really being it. that committed to your food's quality, especially when you're on Shark Tank and it's like a TV ad for your product. So if you're like fighting on TV with the sharks because you want to have perfect quality, then everybody watching thinks, oh, man, that soup's probably pretty good quality. Yes, you don't need to develop that. How much that. you think you're going to have to pay to get that done? Yeah. About $100,000. No. That's about right. $100,000 for equipment to optimize. <laughs> Wait, this guy is just, he's too boring for this show. He doesn't understand that every shark has to say something stupid every fucking five minutes to keep things going, dude. Perfection is the enemy of profitability. I'm out. 
the business is worth about seven hundred fifty thousand dollars right now. That's, That's what a buyer would give you for it. <laughs> I'm out. You would have to do hundred million dollars just for me to get back five hundred thousand dollars. For that reason, I'm out. There, I, this is all is wrong. <laughs> And they're playing like they're I don't know if they're trying to like intimidate or do a lower value or what, but it's not they're being dumb today. Like you invest in a business like this, not for the pure fucking net free cash flow, but because you can resell the business probably to a big fucking larger grocery chain or, or fucking a packaged goods company that'll have, that'll have a good brand. But I don't think at the moment it's a big business and I can get a big return on it. So for those reasons I'm out. Okay. I think the Supergirl <laughs> logo and name is fabulous. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. It's very cute. I, I, Lori's the smartest shark, dude. Lori's getting it. Listen, at the end of the day, this is like if they have a good brand and they're selling, then you can figure out how to fucking slam the margins and, and sell out, cash out. You want everyone to think the quality is great right up until you sell out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what they're doing is actually smart. I mean, if she's never going to sell, then I guess it's a problem. But One thing that for me is not great. Great soup, but as an investor, I'm out. Uh, delicious soup with a good brand. How did it end up? Supergirl. Bad comedy. In 2020, Supergirl managed to raise far more than their initial request of $500,000 in a Series A fundraising round that rose $2 million from founders of other healthful food brands. Uh, it seems like they just didn't want to be in the soup business with unfunny people. <laughs> I don't know why Mark Cuban was talking like they're fucking on death's door with three million in sales and a five percent profit margin, like it's not. He like, put what happened to him? on hold when our mom was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. She battled for two years. The mom got cancer, but the dad's idea. Cancer on August twenty second, two thousand twelve. But in two thousand fifteen, he was diagnosed with synovial sarcoma, Jeez. a cancer that developed from being a fireman in the cleanup of nine eleven. Jeez. And we're the young family. To tell you more about our dad's invention, here's a video our dad made about demoing the Cupware Pro. I'm going to take all these scraps. They're going to okay. go right into the cup. I didn't have to put a bowl under my board. I didn't have to stop. So who's ready to make our dad's dream a reality with us? Are they all Is crying? Story? Um, on August <laughs> They're making 22nd, everybody cry. And then um, my dad <laughs> took a break with the cup and he did it. Fucking Higgins the robot, dude, trying to fucking muster up a tear for the camera. <laughs> Higgins with a big side trying to get something, trying to get fucking and, and something out. And he's a two-time um, He was on hospice in the beginning of the year, and he just passed away three months ago. <laughs> if Higgins comes in with a, okay, but what's your QSR margin? <laughs> so your dad wanted to come on Shark Tank. Yeah. Right. Yes, that was actually his audition video. And on 9-11, where was he? Uh, which part he of the city? He was part of the clear of that. What? And over 2,000 firemen are actually Why are you smiling at sick. this? <laughs> Bro, Higgins, what is your fucking problem? Why, why, why are you like giving a big fucking smile at 9-11? At where was he? He's part of the fucking cleanup, dude. You already heard. What a psychopath. He was there for that. Okay. And over 2,000 firemen are actually crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? 9-11, okay. I know that. You know, is it possible for you just to step out in the hallway for a second? Yeah. Sure, sure. Are they gonna do a five shark all go in? But rather than us fight it all out, we decided to work together. $100,000 for 20%. And each one of us is going to contribute $20,000. Any profits that we earn from our 20%, we're going to contribute to whatever charity your dad supported. Oh my God. And we so are going to work. That's, work. <laughs> That's what they say, no. Ooh. Can we get that equity number down, Mark? Love where your head's at. Love that we got the sharks here. Uh, let's get serious though, bitch. Don't try to fucking lowball us, Cuban. They've sold a million dollars worth of the cupboard pros. Not sure where it went from there. They sold to William Sonoma. Perfect. Oh yeah, William Sonoma created and sold the cupboard. Yeah, so they just they kind of just so they handed the business off. They no longer have to operate it, and they probably still make a cut. So yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, big dub for the kids and, uh, you know, big dub for the dad whose idea, you know, is all paying probably for his kid's college. Uh, all right, chat. That's the end of the day. Thanks for watching. Check it, check it. Hey,